Welcome to Average Joe's Gaming Podcast with your hosts, Jesse, Joe, and Cassie. Episode 19, Azul You Gonna Call. Hi, I'm Joe. Hi, I'm Jesse. I'm Cassie. And tonight, we're going to talk about uh, Family Game Night, or uh, the games we played. <laughs> uh, starting off with, what games do we receive lately? We received a lot of games this week. We did. Uh, we're stocking up for our Extra Life thing, for our giveaways, and then uh, padding the shelves for, for Dad's game room. Really? That's your excuse? Yeah. Stocking up for Extra Life? Oh, I got a lot of giveaways. We're giving away Villainous. We're giving away Five Minute Marvel and many others. Yes. So, um, we got for our game room, we got the Godfather Corleone's Empire. Okay, you got to say it right. What? You can't just say the Godfather. What, did, what was I supposed to say? The Godfather. Oh, jeez. <laughs> the Godfather. Okay. And <laughs> we picked up Azul, uh, not the stained glass version, the the, the original Azul. Mm-hmm. Um, we picked up um, Smugglers by Cosmos and Mercado, Mercado by Cosmos as well. And the Ghostbusters, the card game yep. by Renegade Games. And Gizmos. Oh, and Gizmos, yes. Uh, lately we've been playing a lot of Brigada. A lot of yes. Brigada. Uh, yesterday we played five games at the game chest. You played five games. Right. Um, got to do a, a demo down there and, and I had a lot of fun. Met a couple new people. Um, played from one o'clock to four. Five thirty, six yeah. o'clock, about. It was about six o'clock when you came home. Yeah. So, um, the first three games, I believe, uh, was won by Adam. <laughs> he he did really really well. Okay. The second and third game, he just annihilated everybody. Really. Oh, it was quick. Um, the fourth game was, I would say, the longest game we played. And uh, yours truly came out on top. Yay! Yeah, with the Aconis. So that was you, my family name. You you gave up your. Well, yes. Normally, I play with the Catalanos, and they are ruthless. Mm-hmm. Even though I've only won the game twice now. <laughs> but uh, yes, I I played with the Aconis, the the Gold family. So, uh, mm-hmm. have you played anything lately? Just Brigada last week and then tonight we played uh ghostbusters protect the barrier it's true with this lovely lady that is sitting next to me yes cassie you played ghostbusters protect the barrier now this is based off of the newer version of ghostbusters and uh what do you feel about the new movie for Ghostbusters? It's the, good. The, the female version. It's good. Is it good? Mm-hmm. What's so good about it? They're girls. Wow. <laughs> um, have you ever watched the original? Yes, I have. You have? The one with, with the boys? Mm-hmm. Okay. And did you like that one better than the girl one? No. No? Why not? She wasn't born in the 80s. Okay, did you realize that they're, they're, they're making a third Ghostbusters with the original cast, obviously without uh, Harold Ramis? Well, they are, and it looks amazing. So, back to Ghostbusters Protect the Barrier. What did you like about the game? One, because they're girls, and... Two, because there's baby ghosts and it's a board game. Okay, so you like the baby ghosts and that's your favorite part of the game? Yeah, because they're yeah. cute. Mm-hmm. Okay, so in this game you are trying to get these uh, packs mm-hmm. and deliver them to the front door before 
you get six uh, large ghosts, and the rooms become haunted. And then when the rooms become haunted, we all lose. So it's a cooperative game. So do you like cooperative games more than competitive games? Um, a cooperative game is where we're all working together to, like this one, we're all working together to defeat the game. Or do you like playing games where it's just you against other people? Me against other people. Okay. She's ruthless. You're ruthless. Okay. <laughs> so ruthless. I found the miniatures... Uh, the characters a little fiddly. I agree with that. Like putting it in their little backpack. Yeah. So you've got these little discs that are supposed to go in the backpacks, and then you're supposed to move your characters throughout the, the buildings. I found that very fiddly, and they seem to want to come out quite a bit. Yeah. Um, the miniatures weren't bad, but it's very cartoony artwork, and. It's almost like caricatures because it really accents certain qualities of the oh yeah actors. Um, not flattering. No. <laughs> by the, by the least. No, but I mean the little ghosts. Yes, they're the cute little white ghosts. They're almost Casper esque yes. in that aspect. Um, they're so stinking cute, and it was a really cute, fun game. It the board looks almost like. Uh, Clue. Yeah, totally. It was a Clue-esque board. And the one thing I didn't like, and maybe this is just the way we were playing it and the way the dice were rolled, but it kind of seemed we got a little congested around the ent- the entrance and exit to the building. Okay. Yep. It felt like we kind of all piled up right there a couple yeah, of times. Yeah, because there's only one way in and one way out. Yeah. So you can really clog up the entryway of trying to get out. Cassie, was there anything that you did not like about the game? Um, that there was only one green guy on the dice, so it was harder to get the green guys away. Okay. And you could only get rid of the green guys, and that's the if three little white guys were in the room, then the the big green guy came out. Mm-hmm. And the only way to get rid of him was to have two Ghostbusters, if that's you want to call them, uh, in the room. Hey, that's me. <laughs> I'm sorry. What I meant to say was they are not my Ghostbusters. No. So they they may be your Ghostbusters, but um, one of these days we'll sit down. You'll watch the real Ghostbusters, and then you'll watch the cartoon series, and then I'll have you read the comic books. And then by that time, the third Ghostbuster movie should come out, and then we can go to that. Why did I just get glared at? <laughs> because that's a lot. I, I don't think that's a lot at all. I think that's just the right amount of Ghostbusters for you. Just be thankful she's into Marvel, okay? Okay. So, uh, we are going to play Ghostbusters the card game. And we will tell you our thoughts. Alright, so Ghostbusters the card game by Renegade Games. Um... Jesse, what did you think? I don't want to talk about this game. Well, I really like the artwork. Um, the theme of the original Ghostbusters really came through. The uh, cartoon. Yeah. it's Well, it's it's cartoon versions of the, the original actors. Yeah. So I really liked it. What, what did you think, Cassie? I have a question. Okay. Are you just saying that because it's boys? No. <laughs> I like the original actors, Dan Aykroyd and Bill Murray and um, Harold Ramis and oh, I cannot think of what his name is. The guy that played Winston. It's on the tip of my tongue. Right. Dad. I grew up with those guys, so I really like them. I did not care for the actresses that were in the new movie. I just I don't care for their acting. I don't think they're that funny. But Dad, this was a different kind of funny for me. Dad really likes this movie. I don't get it. I'm not a huge Ghostbuster fan myself. I like the game. The reason I don't want to talk about it is because Cassie stomped us in this yes. game. You had 50 points to my measly 33 to Jesse's measly 29. Yeah, let's not talk about that. 
I don't want to talk yes. about it. So I really like the artwork. I thought it was fun. Um, it was easy to teach you guys. Yeah. Uh, fairly easy to play. It was quick. Fairly quick. Three rounds. So within half an hour, I think we were done with the game. If we wouldn't have had to stop for, you know, mommy time. Right. So, Cassie, what did what did you think of this game as a card game? Um, I like the card, like, that it's a card game, but if it had, like, like what the board game, other board game we played before. The girl version? Mm-hmm. Wow. You're killing me here. <laughs> so, you... You like the girl version better than the boy version. Because you're going to move around the pieces. Well, yeah, but that's a board game version versus a card game version. Nothing? Mm. Well, we're, it's two different games. One's a card game and one is a board game. So obviously you're going to have you're going to have pieces in one and you're, you're going to have cards in the other. So as a card game, did you like it or, or did you not like it? I liked it. Okay, would you play this again? Yeah. Did you like the artwork? Mm -hmm. I see that you, you got Slimer. Mm -hmm. And Marshmallow. Yeah, the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. Mm -hmm. You also managed to get the Big Twinkie. The Big Twinkie. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, the Big Twinkie. And the Gatekeeper. And she just she annihilated us. And the other one. Yes, the, the cards definitely went your way. They did not go mommy's way. I no. got <laughs> ones and like two twos. The only thing that saved me was the fact that I got um, groups. Yes, you did manage to get... Uh, three. three. Three of the groups? groups? Yeah. Okay. Which did help. And then we both lost three points at the end because we, had, we tied for slime. Mm-mm. <laughs> But then you benefited off of that. You got another five points because you had Slimer. Otherwise, you would have gotten hit with negative three points. So I would have stole one. Yes, you probably still would have won. She got ten points for having one through seven on the cards. Yeah. She got ten points for that. Yeah, that was huge. Yeah. So I really like the game. I think it's a, a solid filler game. Yeah. So, but you would play this again? Mm-hmm. Out of a, a 1 to 10 rating, what would you give this? Mm, I would give it a 9. You'd give it a 9. So you really like this game. Yeah, but I so would give that one a 10. You rate these games high. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, so I gave the Ghostbusters Protect the Barrier a 4 out of 10. That's not fair. I gave this one a 9. <laughs> You're making her angry. I gave it a four because I didn't care for it as much. It seemed like a light, lightweight game, but not a filler game. It's a nostalgic value, Cassie. He really, really likes the nostalgic value of the original Ghostbusters. I gave the card game Ghostbusters a rating of a seven. I think it's a well-deserved seven. The artwork is solid. The card quality is good. Renegade Games is really hitting it out of the park with their games. Mm -hmm. So what would you give it? What would you give Ghostbusters Protect the Barrier? Um, I'd probably give that one... If you say four, she's probably going to flip the table. She probably will flip the table if I say four. Um, I will probably give that one like a six. Wow. I really liked it. The little white The baby ghosts. ghosts. The baby ghosts. The little Casper ghosts. They were cute. Um, But it lost points because some things were fiddly and we got, you know, congested trying to get in and out of the house. And it was was a good game. I liked it. Um, Now the card game. I'd probably give that one right now my feelings on it. I'd probably give it a five because the cards did not go my way tonight. 
and I don't have that nostalgic value that wow. you do. Wow, you gave the card game a lower rating than the... Just one. Wow. Because I don't... I want to change this. I'm mad at it. I'm it, mad at the game. Because there were some pieces that didn't actually work. Like the people, they went and hold the coins. So you're not going to give that one a 10? You're not giving Protect the Barrier a 10 anymore? No, but this one's going to be 8. And the Ghostbusters, the boy one, is going to be 8. And then that one's going to be 9. Wow. So let me get this right. You are reducing Protect the Barrier to a 9. And then the boy one, the card game, you're giving an eight. Okay. Stop picking on her. All right. I I would give this probably a, a solid seven. Yeah. Just it's it's a good filler game. The artwork is solid. It really grabs that nostalgia thematic value of the Ghostbusters, the real Ghostbusters. Whatever. We each have our own opinion. <laughs> both just... of them are the real ghost fighting Oh, no, 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 no. They're both fighting ghosts. Cassie, Cassie, you are just, you're, you're such a simple-minded Mm-mm. little girl. You're fighting a no. losing battle. The real Ghostbusters. And I will show you a cartoon that actually says the real Ghostbusters. No. We need the to only let Ghostbusters go. are... The four guys. She has school tomorrow, so... So we're going to play Azul, mm-hmm. and then we're going to talk about it, and then uh, then Cassie can go to bed. Okay. All right. All right, so Azul. Uh, Jesse, what did you think? I like this game. Um, the only thing that I'm not a fan of that I don't get is the scoring. Okay. So that's the only thing that I dislike about this game because I don't know how to score it myself. Otherwise, oh. I love this game. All right. So, components? I love it. They're nice, good components. Our boards are... I don't know what's going on with our boards. There are mm. little stuff's coming off the sides there. I've seen that on pretty much all of them. Okay. But, yeah, they're, they're nice, good boards, and these are fun to play with. Yep. All right. Cassie, what did you think of Azul? I liked it, but it was really, really, really confusing. Why was it confusing? Because of the points okay. and where you had to put them. And the way you had to place the tiles. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. That was confusing because you only could do it sideways. Right. Well, that's where the arrow points. Yeah. Okay. And so you like the components? What's that again? The pieces? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm assuming you like the tiles. Mm-hmm. What did you think of the board? The boards are cool because they have like lots of details. Okay. So on a scale of one to ten, what would you give this? Ten. Wow. She's giving this a ten over her. Girl Ghostbuster game. <laughs> hey, nine's still better than eight. Because I, I put that on eight. Okay. So her defense is nine is still better than eight. Okay. Uh, Jesse, what would you give this? I'd probably give this one like a seven or an eight, only because the scoring thing just, it messes me up. I, I don't understand it. But I love this game. I will play with it. Play it if somebody will score my points for me. Okay. I really like this game. Um, I've played this and Azul Stained Glass of Sintra. I like this one better than the Stained Glass. That's what you said. Um, I, I I think this one's more competitive. Oh, yeah. Uh, a little more cutthroat than stained glass. Oh, really? Um, I I just, I really like this one. I, the, the pieces are, are really awesome. The, the little, I don't even know what you would call them, these acrylic cubes or tiles, tiles are, are just really nice. They're very pretty. I know you can get uh, special, um, I don't know what special print ones from different websites for the ones that are just plain. 
Um, but I don't, I don't think that's necessary. I think it's just a solid game. It's, it's affordable. Uh, I think I got this one for like 24 bucks or something like that on Amazon. I, I would recommend this one over stained glass. Uh, I know people like the stained glass one. I, I do like it. I just don't care for it as much as regular Azul. And you said you would rather play Sagrada if you wanted to play like a stained glass. Yes, if it, it was for the theme for me for stained glass games, it's it's Sagrada all the way. Um, as far as Azul, I mean the two games are, are distinctly separate. Mm-hmm. Uh, this one you're designing um, a wall. Yeah, uh, tiled walls, stained glass. Obviously, you're doing stained glass. The, the mechanics are, are different enough that the core mechanic with the marketplace is similar. But it's just, I, I like this one better. I think it's it's just a solid game. And I, I would give this one probably an 8.5. So that's, that's Azul for me. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, so next weekend... Who are going to do a game day on Saturday. Okay. And we'll News play some me. games. <laughs> uh, the following weekend, we are doing our Extra Life game day. Yes. Uh, meeting. Yes. We're doing an Extra Life meeting before the game day. So hopefully we'll have a decent turnout about that. We'll go over some details. And starting in March, we're going to really get on um, organizing some stuff. Yep. So... That's it for us tonight. I'm Joe. I'm Jesse. I'm Cassie. Hey, do you want to play games for a good cause? Join Extra Life, a community of 50,000 gamers all over the world who play games to heal kids at Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. Find out more at extra-life.org. Thank you for listening. Please follow us at Facebook, visit our Average Joe's Gaming podcast page, or join our Facebook group at Average Joe's Gaming. You may follow us on Instagram, Average Joe's Gaming, or Twitter, at Hammerly Joseph. You may also join our Board Game Geek Guild, at Average Joe's Gaming. You can listen to us on Google Play Music, Amazon TuneIn, iTunes, Spotify, and Stitcher. If you'd like to leave us a rating, please do so. Also, if you'd like to drop us a line, you may do so at Average Joe's Gaming Podcast at Outlook.com. Thank you. <laughs>